let me show you what to do if you can't actually connect your E88 uh, like drone and other similar drones to your remote control. For example, maybe it was working previously and it's not working anymore. Maybe it's again only flashing this light and it's not connecting. So the number one issue really is uh, these drones actually have a crash detection system. So if you simply bang it somewhere and it crashes somewhere while you are flying, it will start to flash lights and you won't be able to actually start it up unless you restart it. So uh, it actually has to know that uh, it's in a safe position to actually start up so and it can't uh, damage itself. As again, uh, yeah, the crash detection system is actually kind of overprotective on this. So even small bumps, it uh, often like goes off. So yeah, that's the thing with this. So and the way you do this is you actually have to turn of both of these things so uh, if you have the remote control also turn it off and also turn this off so they both have to be turned off otherwise you won't be able to get it to work then make sure this is actually on a flat surface and it's not stable it's stable basically so you can't hold it in hand like this so uh, it will still think it's somewhere uh, crushed and it um, won't be able to basically so again make sure it's on a flat surface and then uh, the first thing you do is turn on this drone, wait till it starts to flash like this. So as you see, let me show you again, basically. So first time you sign, power it on, it starts to flash rapidly. But then you see it calms down, so a bit slower. And this is when you actually need to power on your remote. So if you actually power on your remote while it's uh, like flashing rapidly, uh, the, the procedure will fail and you won't be able to connect. So that is um, like uh, number one uh, case where most people fail. They simply actually turn on the remote control too fast. So simply wait till it starts to blink slowly and then turn it on. And once connected, as you can see, the lights uh, on the drones will keep uh, like quiet like this. So and they won't flash and it's ready to fly. So it will work now. Uh, also, if you still can't get it to work, uh, maybe what you can else can do, you can simply remove uh, the batteries from these drones as well and let it sit for like a few seconds. Also the same on this, remove the batteries and maybe even let it sit for like a one minute. So it uh, maybe does some reset, resetting other way. So yeah, that's how I do it on these drones. Again, you have to make sure that both devices are off. Turn this on, wait till it starts to flash slowly and then only turn on the remote and it should work 99% of the time. Also, if it still doesn't work, uh, here in the manual you can see uh, it has this frequency alignment. So this section over here and uh, it even says here it needs to be on flat ground and what to do. So also, again, if you can't get it to work and it's not working automatically, simply follow these steps here, basically. So you have to turn on this and uh, basically hold this till it starts to beep for like one second and 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 on this like that. So, so at first, like, hold one second till, till it starts to beep and again. So I haven't done this, uh, but yeah, basically can read it how you can do that here. Anyway, yeah, the crash detection system on this is completely crazy on this, these drones anyway.